This is the Rokinon 14mm f2.8 wide-angle lens for the full-frame Sony cameras. It's around 830 bucks Canadian. And while that is quite a bit, it's considerably cheaper than Sigma's lens, which is notoriously heavy, or the Sony's G Master, which is around 2000 bucks. I got this used for 300 bucks. Being an autofocus lens, I was quite impressed. The rear lens cover is loose AF, which does make me worried. Now, the guy I brought it from warned me that the lens hood was misaligned, which could cause vignetting on full frame sensors. However, because he used the lens on an APS-C sensor, his images were cropped in, so he didn't have any issues. Now my room's an absolute zoo, but here's a cat shot with a 28-70mm kit lens as a kind of control. Now I'm going to put the Roken in on. As you can see, the lens hood is misaligned. This leads to some serious vignetting on the top left and bottom right corners. This cat really doesn't like getting his portrait done. Okay, now we're gonna fix this lens hood. So we just slide this ring counterclockwise. And then now we can see all these screws we'll need to remove. And there's two different screws here. Now I happen to have a glasses repair kit handy. This repair kit came with a really handy tool, which is a tiny Phillips screwdriver. We're going to need this. Now back to the lens. Oh, now there goes the lens cover again. I'm going to remove the black screws first. Because the silver screws have a sort of plastic cover to them. Even after undoing the silver screws, the plastic housing prevents me from removing the lens hood. This had me stumped for an hour, and I seriously debated getting a knife and permanently cutting the plastic of the lens hood. Thankfully, the plastic housing can just be pried out using a flathead screwdriver. There's supposed to be three black screws and three silver screws. However, I lost one of the black screws, and this lens only had two silver screws. Now we can take off the lens hood, and surprisingly, the entire front glass comes with it. The extended section of the lens hood has to align vertically with the top of the lens. We got to align these holes, put everything back together, then shove the silver screws with the plastic housing into place. It's these silver screws that are gonna hold that front glass into place. Trust me, I learned this the hard way. I'm gonna quickly put back all the screws here. All right, all done now. It's really obvious now. The labeling lines up with the screws, which lines up with the extended part of the lens hood. Just giving it a little shake, because the first time I did this, the front glass just fell right out. Now let's test out this lens. The lens hood looks just as it should now. No more vignetting! It looks so sad. I couldn't find any help online, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please check out my hiking videos!